Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? It's your boy Jay Barry Man back with another video. Give you greatness once again, which is PlayStation Nation, which is the PlayStation 4. And you know, um, it's that time of the week. Um, last week I didn't get to do <laughs> a games for the week video because there was so much, you know, craziness going on. Not craziness, but there's so much family um, members here at the house and all that stuff. I did have the video queued up, the commentary and all that, but I just didn't get the time to upload it, which was crazy. Um, by t by the time I got the the time to like upload it, <clears throat> it was already Tuesday, and it was, I was like, "Don't make no sense dropping that," you know, before you know, I mean, after the fact that Tuesday's out. But um, I'm pretty much you know, I was gonna give you guys a game for the week this week. Um, like I said, there was no podcast this week. Uh, just too busy, you know. I mean, just had family over. Haven't seen them in a long time, and um, you know, just wanted to chill with them and stuff like that. And then this weekend, I didn't really do no videos or live stream because I was up in uh, Boston and all that stuff. So I didn't get to really do anything like that as far as gaming wise, other than playing the Final Fantasy 15 Platinum demo, um, which is a little dream world where Noxus um, goes into. You know, something outside of the demo. I mean, outside of the game. Not like um, the Duskest demo. What That's a part of the game. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, they changed up a lot of controls in there. Um, you know, Young Noxus was definitely slower. Um, and all that stuff. But, you know, once you got to the the little, the, the boss battle. <clears throat> you definitely felt the more of the controls when you had the older Noxus. But yo, um, yeah, man. Just going to go through the games for the week. Um, this is not the strongest week, <laughs> I'll admit, you know, looking at the games. Um, you know, a lot of small titles that's coming out. Some interesting, some I, some of these games I definitely played at PSX, uh, PlayStation Experience, um, which was cool. But it wasn't like, you know, a game that I would buy right away. You know, and I buy a lot of games right away. <laughs> but I wouldn't buy this one uh, right away. But, yo, let's get right into it and list the games for the week. Um... You know, because it's just that time. It's just that time. It's just that time. So let's get right into it. First game we have here is The Virus Named Tom. Um, PS Vita. Digital title. Free with PS Plus. So I guess this is one of the new PS Plus titles <laughs> that everybody's complaining about. Like, hey, we don't want this crap, Sony. We don't want this crap. <laughs> All right. So the next game we have here. Is Amplitude PS3 Digital. This is cross by with PS4. So if you guys bought the um, Amplitude on PS4, you will get this free. Um, and you know, Amplitude is is a reboot of like the the the, the 2003 game that they had from Car um, Harmonix, which a lot of people definitely liked. Then we have Assassin's Creed Chronicles Trilogy uh, for the PS Vita, digital and retail. Thank you Ubisoft for bringing the game to the Vita. <laughs> That's not Japanese, you know what I mean? But yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people, um, <laughs> like downplay Assassin's Creed, but Assassin's Creed is a big seller, so we'll see if this boosts some sales with the Vita. I doubt it, but we'll see. Then we have the Battleborn Open Beta. Um, this is on PS4 Digital. This begins on the eighth. Um, so yeah, for those guys that's interested in Battleborn, um, you guys can play right here. The creators of Borderlands. So you know, Battleborn is not like it's going to be a bad game. I feel like that there's not that much people interested in it. More people are interested in, in Overwatch, like myself. But Battleborn is just too much of those these similar type games where you know I was just like, okay, I'm going to get Battleborn and Overwatch. You know what I mean? It's going to be redundant. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I'm not getting Battleborn right away. But um, I like the, the the creators of Borderlands um, 2K. So. You know, I, I think it's going to be a good game. It's just, it's just too much of that genre. So I'm not going to get it right away. But I'll play the demo. I'm going to play this beta though. <laughs> then we have Bounce Rescue for the PS4 Digital. Um, then we have Dead Star PS4 Digital. This is free with PlayStation Plus. Um, Dead Star is a game that I played at PlayStation Experience. And um, I had a, like a, a closed um, beta you know what I mean, that we played. It is a very good game. It's a very beautiful game. A lot of people was going to downplay it because it's not something comparable to like a, a Sunset Overdrive or an Xbox One. But this is a very good game, man. People people got to play the games to actually have a, you know, a real opinion of, about the game. But it's free. It has some RPG elements in there. Um, it's a very good game. So give it a try. It's free. Then we have Dirt Rally for the PS4 Digital and Retail. Um, racing game, if you guys don't know, 
<laughs> Dirt Rally. Um, you can hear what's the name R2D2 going off. Then we have Enter the Dungeon for the PS4 Digital. I played this at PlayStation Experience. This game it looks crazy, it looks wacky, but it's very good. It's, it's very good. If you ever played the Binding of Isaac, it's something very similar to that, but I think it's a little bit more easy in the Binding of Isaac though. So I, I'm pretty sure people's going to enjoy this game right here because you got a whole bunch of guns you can use and all that stuff, and it, it's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool game. Um, real talk. So yeah, um, Enter the Dungeon is coming out Tuesday as well, and this is part of the whole launch party lineup um, of games. Then we have Green Game Time Swapper for the PS Vita Digital. This is actually out on Monday, not the Tuesday. Then we have Lovely Planet for the PS4 Digital. I think this, they showed this on the Xbox. This came out on the Xbox first. Um, it's one of those guys with a, with a bow and arrow. He was like shooting up stuff and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it, it looked cool. Would I give it a try? I'd probably give it a try. Um, I could have gave it a try on the Xbox, but you know, the Xbox, that's just for like mainly like exclusive games and stuff like that. But I like the art style of the game. Then we have the nail in the coffin, Mega Man Legends 2 for the PS1 Classic Digital Titles. Um, which is huge, man. They need to bring the PS1 Digital to Classics to um, PS PlayStation 4. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I like the PS2 games, even though I didn't get to try. I didn't even get to play on the PS2 games yet. Uh, for PS4, but bringing them over is just great, man. Because yeah, I like the Vita, I like the um, PS TV, the PS3, but the PS4 is where you gotta bring these games over to. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely a, a huge one. Mega Man Legends 2. I never played Mega Man Legends 2. I played one, but two I never got to play. So this is definitely gonna get bought. And then we have Skullgirl Second Encore on um, PS Vita Digital. This is a cross by with a PS4. Yo, if you don't have Skullgirls, I, I, I don't know, man. Because this game is this game is wonderful. I like Skullgirls. Um, definitely slept on in the PS3 um, era times. And it's a great fighter, man. Great fighter. Really enjoyed it. Deep mechanics. Um, it's simple to play, but it's very deep. So what is what is it? What did they say? It's 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 um easy to play, but hard to master. Something like that, but yeah, man, very good game, man. If you guys don't have it, get this game. Skull Girls is cool. Then they have um, Psych Bold uh, for the PS4 Digital. I don't know what this is, and that's pretty much it. That's all the games for the week. Like um, all the videos, the links um, for the article is going to be um, in the description, so you guys can check out the games for yourself. You know what I mean? See if you guys are interested or not. But yo, like every video, let me know if you're interested or not. If you're not, it's all good. Doesn't matter. Just let me know anyway. But yeah, man, this game right here I'm playing is Night of the Zor. Um, very good game. Um, <laughs> you know, Japanese, very Japanese game. Um, there's a lot of, you know, what they call it, fan service in here. I get not not that bad though, like Sinran Kagura kind of fan service. But there's stuff in there. Um, but the story is pretty. The story is pretty good. Uh, in my opinion, I like the story a lot between these two girl, these two girls. You know. And they're getting back together for after a long time. But there's definitely some type of, <laughs> you know, romancing in here that is, 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 is I think is going to happen um, very soon. <laughs> for how far I'm in the story. But, um, yeah, man, I like the combat. Not too, It's not too difficult. Simple combat. But, you know what I mean? You have these little servants thing right here that you see has helped me fight. Uh, reminds me kind of like um, Nino Kuni a little bit. Not like Nino Kuni as deep as Nino Kuni. A little bit reminiscent of it, but it's not as deep as Nino Kuni. Nino Kuni, you can switch between controlling your character and then controlling the um the little monsters. But um yeah, man, this game is pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. If you guys haven't bought it yet, you want to give it a try, um give it a go, or you can just wait till it gets a little cheaper because it is sixty dollars. I know people like to complain about a sixty dollar price tag, but this game is complete. Uh, a lot of content in here. It's a long RPG game, and yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, give it a go. But yeah, this is the games for the week. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these games. But we're about to go into a boss fight. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And it's your boy Jay Barry, and I'm gone. Du -du 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 -du
純潔の妖魔との交渉人をどうして混ざり者のあなたなの教皇庁の都合なんて知らずだが私は夜の封じ方を知りたいだけ夜の封じ方ですっけそれを聞くあなたは人間かしらそれとも妖魔かな試す必要がありそうだな、ね